Today, I'm gonna to show you the fast and easy way to figure out exactly what string gauges you need to use, no matter how low you wanna to down tune your guitar, even if you've never down tuned before. So by far, one of the most common questions I get in my DMs every single day is, hey Steve, I wanna down tune to X, Y, Z, whether that be C standard, B standard, drop A, drop F, F standard, whatever, what string gauges do I need to use? And so today I'm gonna to show you a super simple way to figure this out with zero guesswork. Here we are at the String Joy String Tension Calculator website. That's a web-based app, entirely free. You can access it at tension.stringjoy.com. You're gonna scroll down the page here and see a lot of numbers, but don't get intimidated. I'm gonna show you exactly how everything works. It's super fast and super simple. So first up, you're gonna pick the type of instrument you could do bass, acoustic guitar, or electric guitar. We're, of course, gonna pick electric guitar. Your type of strings, I would say stick with the signature nickel wound here. If you've got a seven string, eight string, what have you, you could pick your number of strings and then set your scale length. And so, like I said, we're gonna start out here, assuming we're playing a 25 and a half inch scale length guitar in standard tuning, and we know we love the feel of a typical set of nine to 42 strings. So I'm gonna input the gauges. Now, remember here, I'm telling you, th this is a set of strings you've played before. You know exactly how they feel and you're confident that you like the gauge. So you can see here, we've got a total tension of 92 and a half pounds on the neck. You can see the tension of each individual string here down the right side, the plain strings around 14 and the wound strings in this 16 to 17 range. So I'm gonna take a little screenshot of this. You're gonna to want to keep track of this number here for each string so we know what to target as we down tune. So now we're gonna say we're down tuning to B standard. That requires that we drop the pitch of each string by five half steps, which is also two and a half steps or five semitones. So I'm gonna click in each field and I'm going to click up five times to drop to B standard. So the sixth string, five clicks is a B. Fifth string, five clicks. E, fourth string, five clicks. A, third string, five clicks. D, second string, five clicks. F sharp, and of course, another B. So you can see now the tension has dropped significantly compared to what we had originally. And now we gotta figure out what strings we need to get back to those original tension values so that our guitar feels the same that it did in this lower tuning. So we click in each field and we start to increase the gauge. Now you'll notice as I increase the gauge, the tension goes up. Well, it just so happens our first string needs to be at 14.4 pounds of tension, so we find a 12 works perfect. Now our second string here, we do the same thing. We start to march it up. Again, we're looking for 14.4, 16 is gonna work perfect. Third string, same thing. We're gonna march it up and it looks like a 20 plane is gonna feel right about 14.1 compared to 14.2. Fourth string, we're gonna step that one up here, trying to get to 16.7. It looks like a 32 is gonna be close. Now you don't have to hit it exactly here, but you're just gonna to wanna to get within a couple tenths on the tension. So here a 44 is dead on. And our sixth string here looks like a 56 is 15.5 and a 58 is 16.4. So if we stick with that, we can see we're once again 92.4 pounds on the neck overall down here, which is similar to where we were before. And if I bring the original tension values back over, you can see they are almost identical all the way down. So this means that this, gate, this set of strings is going to have the same tension in B standard as our set of nine to 42 strings had in E standard. And so this works for any tuning, does not matter. It'll also allow you to change scale length and figure out how you'd have to change strings to accommodate. Here, if you say wanted to go down to drop A, so we wanted to drop two more semitones, so we're matching the pitches of the sixth and fourth string. You can see here we've dropped to 12.3, so you could come back up, uh, add a few, increase to a 60, 62 to 64, so you'd have to pick here. Uh, say we pick the 64, that would give you a set of strings that would work great for uh, drop A. 
And like I'm saying, this will work for anything. Super easy to use and then a really cool thing. So let's take this back to B. A really cool thing about it is they allow you to get it here. Um, we got to take this back to 56, but they allow you to get it here. And so you come here, it's going to bring up a separate page. And on this page, we're allowed to pick the custom sets. So Stringjoy has this all set up for you. Uh, really great. Obviously, I've got tons of different sets of Stringjoy strings that I've picked up using this method. So you do have to fill this out again. So uh, 12 and 56. And so this 12 to 56 set just happens to be one of their signature series sets, but you could order it. Uh, here, it would cost the same. They don't upcharge you at all for doing this. I have different sets that I've done custom over the years, and uh, I think it works really great. Like I said, fast, easy way to get the exact strings you need. Know that your tension's gonna be right. Even if you've never down tuned before, uh, you come right here and you can check out and they're delivered to your house. So there you have it, guys. That's gonna work for any tuning. Quick and easy, tension.stringjoy.com. Figure out exactly what strings you need on your guitar, no matter how far you want to down tune. Of course, if you're still looking for a place to start, you can always check out my free doom metal tuning guide. That's at doesitdoom.com forward slash tuning guide. I'll have links to that down in the description as well. And of course, I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord and Riff Messiah tier producers. For more content like this, you can click the YouTube video directly below me. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.